in this video. I'm buying a classic C10 for just $1,000. Headed out in this big beast, in this behemoth, to grab a trailer. It is drivable. He said it would make a three hour drive home, but I'm not ugh, super keen on making that drive in this newly acquired junk truck when I have this new luxury to ride in. So I'll take this instead, get a trailer home. Coming up to the good old covered bridge with the insect covered windshield. Classic Midwest historical monument. Still functional too. Give her a rip. Look at that old dude. Who is this? Who is that? I know, it's spot on. It has little dots that shows you right where it goes. Did I get it? Man. Did you hear me skid? No. Nope. Perfect. could do it with how much rust there is on this thing yeah i mean the plan is to restore it so they even have the old fat and terry bombs under it. <laughs> yeah i mean just with like you can see the pressure that's getting applied to this and it's popping this out and this whole thing needs to be fixed i mean we got a trailer we can take it home if you want to do a thousand bucks and i, mean, I brought cash let me go talk to my old lady. Okay. We got her, boys. All loaded up and strapped down with the $1,000 C10. What? What's so funny, old man? What is it? What you smiling about over there? What? The things we do. Things, the things we get into. The things we get into with this $1,000 C10. So the seller was a character. And all I can say is that the shorts match the truck. And the aesthetic is pretty on point. Now, we uh, the truck was listed at 3K. I got him down to two online and he would not budge below two. And I figured maybe I could get him down to 1800 face to face. And I shot him at 1500. He said, sure. Uh, and then I went back, talked it over with him. He advised me not to do over a thousand. So I went back and I said, hey, it's just so rough. I'll give you a thousand bucks. We have a trailer if you want to take it. And if not, I understand. But I'll give you a thousand bucks for it. So it be. So we did. We got the C10 for just a grand. Now, even if it is a little bit rougher than originally anticipated, even as a parts vehicle, I think it's worth a thousand bucks because of what he had done to it maintenance wise and uh, what the rarity of these parts are. Um, all the remaining body panels and lights and emblems, 
and all that stuff, I think is worth some money. So can't go wrong. And we are headed back now. I got about 45 minutes to an hour drive. safely and we will get some more footage and content of this big beast tomorrow night for now <laughs> look at this hunk man here it is in the daylight now i can show you around it look at how long this thing has been sitting collecting grime oh this is disgusting but I love it. It's the new project and it will turn into something so great. We have shaved doors. Ugh. So we'll just reach in here, get it popped wherever. There we go. Here is the interior full of rust, full of some rigged up speakers. Comes with all sorts of supplies just in here alone not cleaned out whatsoever it's painted this blue everywhere which is uh interesting we got the piece and pistons gotta love it what else oh the thunder the matching blue thunder <laughs> oh man i love this truck and what's even better than what's inside is what's behind check out all this garbage we got a spare grill, which is nice, but how many cigarette butts can you find in this thing? Man, man, oh man. Going around to the back, you can see the bed is kind of shot. Got plenty of rust that was coated over. Body by Rob, gotta love it. Got the classic plate on the back. Still got it strapped down underneath. Kick it open. There it is in all of its glory. So the first thing we're going to need to do is clean this whole truck out after I've shown it to you. You can just see so much Bondo, so much mildew. Like that came off so, so easy, but now it's on the kicks. What did I get myself into? Disaster repair on this old barn find. So here we are with the truck and some of you may be thinking, Max, why did you buy this heap of junk? Why did you buy this heap of trash? Well, I am a transformational junkie. I love transforming old trucks, old cars, any vehicles into something much, much, much better. And I love helping automotive enthusiasts transform their passion for cars into profit. So I have some programs down below if you wanna check those out, shameless plug, that teach you how to make money with your passion for vehicles if you're interested. But enough of the promo, let's get back to the truck and get this thing cleaned out. We got the blue rims with the missing lug nut. Gotta love it. I think these rims could look really, really good if they weren't, well, blue that matches part of the truck. There's a lot of potential in this thing and I see the potential, not only that, but I see the finished product of what it can become. And I can't wait to take it there. What are your thoughts, brother? POS. Oh no. He's a Chevy? POC, you mean? Oh, maybe. I'm loading the beast. Gotta have my foot on the brake because it's not strong enough in gear. I guess I didn't even try the parking brake. Oh well. Got it. Smooth as butter. Just got it off the trailer. I realized I didn't do a test drive with you guys. It drives surprisingly well. I'll crack open the engine bay when we get back. Um, but it fired up right away. And it, I mean, it runs really well. Once we're not on a curvy road, I'll give her some gear.
that's it for this video. There is so much more content to come with this thing though. A thorough disaster detail to make it look clean, a complete body and paint transformation, tuning it up, and a whole bunch more. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel to follow along with the build. And if you're interested in learning how to make money in the automotive industry, remember to click that link down in the bio. Drop a like if you want to. Drop a comment telling me what you thought about the video. And with that in mind, I will see you on the next one. Peace.